Hey guys, good morning. How are you? I hope you're doing great. I'm having breakfast right now. Watermelon. Look at this watermelon. It's so good and it's really, really, really sweet. Today is September 2nd and it's the first day of the summer that is cloudy. <laughs> I really feel like fall is coming, but honestly, I get so excited for fall because that means persimmon season. It's not even that warm anymore. It's kind of chilly actually. So right now I'm about to have some breakfast, watermelon, and then afterwards I have a few things to do. Okay, so I have to update you guys on my life. Uh, as some of you may remember, this is my old kitchen from my previous videos. Like my very first videos that I did were here in this kitchen because this is my parents' home. And about eight months ago, I went to live uh, to Little Italy, which is an area here in San Diego. I got an apartment by myself and I lived there. But then afterwards, like my brother's in college. He doesn't live at this house. My sister lives in New York. And my parents had this like house and it was just them two. So they're like, you know, we want a smaller place. So they moved to an apartment in downtown and they were initially going to sell this house because no one like no one was going to live here. Right. But then they were like, you know, you know what? We don't want to sell the house. Like there's so many memories and maybe later, but not now. So my dad was like, Hey, listen, like no one's living at the house. And if you want, you can just go back and live there. You don't, you know, you can save that money for rent on something else. Um, and you can just, you know, live at the house for the moment. Like, I know this is something temporary. I don't know, a year, maybe a year and a half. And I said, you know what? I'm, I'm totally going to take your word because I have so much more space here. Like, seriously, I love this kitchen and I have so many things like and lately, you know, brands send me like, uh, products so I've been getting so many blenders and juicers that I have no idea where to put them I should probably like give them away or something too guys that would be cool uh, but then I feel like I don't want to give them away something that I've used you know like I want to give away something new so anyways oh look at my cute rice maker isn't this so cute oh, it's Japanese anyways I'm just really happy to be here but today I'm gonna give them the keys officially I'm gonna say goodbye to my apartment <laughs> and uh yeah and then after i'm gonna come back i want to make some recipes and i'm basically just gonna be here at home because tomorrow i'm gonna see my friends so anyways i'm gonna just be working on some things and i'm gonna be basically vlogging my day with you guys so i'm gonna have some breakfast and i'll see you guys in a bit so for breakfast just to give you guys an idea i'm probably gonna fill this whole thing up and have this for breakfast just because it's just easier for me to just eat it straight from here. And yeah, that's probably like, like this watermelon was really big. It was one of those long ones. And I'm just gonna fill that with this and that would that will probably be my breakfast. I'll let you guys know right now. I'm here at my apartment. Well, it's gonna be my ex-apartment. And look, I've already moved everything out. <gasps> Here's a room, well, the ex room. And yeah, basically I've just, I'm leaving. Well, I already left. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's it was a really nice time, but honestly, I'm I'm a lot more comfortable over there. Like for all the things that I have, like kitchen wise, and and if I and if I have the opportunity to to do it, why not? Obviously, if I like didn't have a choice and had to stay here, of course I would stay here. But you know, save rent, have more space. It's like no brainer, right? <laughs> I just want to show you guys the view one last time. Look, that's beautiful San Diego. <gasps> all right, so we're gonna pack all this up and I'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, I'm here with Carmelita. And uh, she was helping me move out. So we just, or we're just arriving to Specialty Produce, which is where I buy my produce. I have a lot of things at home already, but I just need a few things. So yeah, we, it took us like an hour to bring the rest of the things down. I'll show you guys right now. But honestly, I'm just so excited because I haven't been here in like two weeks. So I'm just excited to see what's in season now. I mean, I know like, it's still kind of summer, but it's starting to be fall. So I'm thinking grapes, figs, 
Yay! Look, this is specialty produce. So it's like a warehouse, but anyone can come and shop here. It's so beautiful. Honestly, it's amazing. I love it here. Ooh, jicamas. <gasps> Bulls are here. Yay. Oh my gosh, there's still tomatoes. Yay! That's what I came for. It'd be so good. The best part is that they let you try everything here and everything is so fresh like everything comes from local farms like they're not all of them are like certified organic because they can't pay for the certification but they are like if they were organic like just even better they're so good so far i'm getting grapes tomatoes some strawberries tomatoes berries figs these figs are amazing a watermelon and look there is Italian season dragon fruit and all these melons I said I was like coming just for a couple things but um and I honestly really did say that but what I do have at home a lot is veggies but I don't have a lot of fruit so I need fruit <laughs> right now I am arriving to Bed Bath & Beyond I love this place you guys I seriously love it and I'm getting a Bajetti, which is the spiralizer, because I'm having a giveaway. Yes, I am. I will put the video up soon, like next week for sure, so stay tuned for that. And it's gonna be an amazing giveaway. I'm giving away a Vitamix blender. And the reason I'm doing this is because we just reached 200,000 followers. Yay, you guys. Thank you guys so much. This one? Oh. Yeah, she scared me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm giving away a Vitamix. Oh yes, this one, like this. What do you guys like better, platinum or black? I honestly like the platinum better. I mean, I love the white and the black and the red, but I think that this one is just more versatile. And I'm gonna give away some other things, which you will see in that video, okay? So we're gonna get that. So we just finished filming a YouTube video. And the video that I did was for the giveaway that I'm doing. Look at that beautiful baby. Look at that. <gasps> okay, you guys have to stay tuned for that video that's coming soon because I want you guys all to participate. Honestly, it's a good giveaway. <sighs> I would like to win all that. So uh, we just finished doing that. Okay, and these vlogs usually, I uh, don't film exactly everything that I eat, so these are not like what I eat in a day vlogs. These are just vlogs of my daily life. Um, and of course, if you guys like don't like these, please let me know in the comments below. Like I won't do them. I'm doing them because some of you guys write to me on my Spanish vlogs and you're like, hey, Ravana, can you make English vlogs too? Or that you even watch them without like knowing what I'm saying. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do them. Anyways, I'm gonna cut up some more tomato right now for both of us. You guys, look at these figs. Look at them. These are the green tiger stripe figs and inside they are like this pink color they seriously taste like jelly. Like, I'm not kidding. Mm. Oh my God. I'm gonna give some to my brother. Can't wait for him to try it because he's never tried these and they're like really, really good. And these are just the normal black mission figs, which are really good too. And when they're like this, like really, really gooey, that's when they're the best. Mm. Mm. So good. Look at that. Look at that. I'm drinking this tea right now before I go to sleep. Uh, warming swirl of organic ginger, film, and golden turmeric. I've never tried it, but it smells good. Hey guys. So I'm about to go to sleep and before I go to sleep, I just want to talk about something that I we talked the other day at this um, prayer study that I go to with my friends. And we were touching on the subject of worry and how all of us go through that. You know, like I worry, you've probably worried at some point in your life. Uh, there are times when I worry so much, where I've worried so much that I begin to feel very, very, very anxious. And these are just thoughts that are going on in my head over and over and over again. And it's just negative thoughts. 
and it's usually worry about what's going to happen in the future, what could happen or what couldn't happen. It's powerful because it like I sometimes feel like it just overcomes me and there's nothing I can do about it and and, and how am I going to get rid of these of these thoughts and they just take over me. So we were talking about ways to stop worrying, ways to not worry and what each one of us does to cope with that. And for myself, what I found is that it's just letting go of whatever is present. So whatever it is that I'm worrying about that I probably have no control over and I can't do anything about, trying to just let it go and knowing that it's okay to to let it go and that I don't have to hold on to it and that by worrying I'm not moving forward. I it's it's like I'm stuck because worrying paralyzes me and I can't do anything. I can't move forward. I can't move to the side. I can't do anything and just letting it go. Letting it go. Another thing is just being grateful. Being grateful for what I have, for what is present, being grateful for what is around me, being grateful for the positive and the good things that are happening in my life. And once I start being just grateful and seeing the good things, like worry just goes away. And and being grateful for me is so powerful because I focus on the good and it makes me happy, honestly. Like like I don't worry anymore and I'm just like joyful and I am focused on the now and worry just goes away. And for me, another thing that helps is just being humble because many times I feel like I can do everything by myself, but honestly, or at least for me, is that I need the help of a higher power or universe. I call it God or spirit, whatever it is. I do feel that there is a force that is bigger than me and I think that's love. I think God for me is is love and I'm just reminded to fill myself with unconditional love and when I do that it's like I have nothing to worry about because I am where I need to be exactly where I need to be and if there is something that is being wrong in my life then I just use it as an opportunity to grow and to become a better person and to learn from that so worrying is actually a good thing for me because when I worry, it just brings me back to letting go, to surrendering uh, my life to God, to universe, to spirit, and doing his purpose. So it's like, not my will is going to be done, but his will, which is like such a greater will. And his plans are so much greater for my life than my plans. So I know that like talking about God and spirit and universe can be a touchy subject and... For a lot of people, it can make them uncomfortable because they automatically um, relate it to a religion. Uh, I think religion many times divides people. And I think that God is all about love and it's all about uniting people. So you don't have to be part of a religion to you know, believe in God or have a relationship with God. And, and I really feel like Like I really just have a relationship with him and it's so cool because when I'm close to God and I'm just conscious of his loving and I'm grateful every single day, various times during the day, (laughs) I just feel happier and it's amazing, honestly. So anyways, yeah, just wanted to talk about that, about worry, how all of us, we always worry. I, I worry sometimes, I have anxiety sometimes, of course, but if I am constantly keeping up, but it's much less if I'm close to God. But I'm gonna go to sleep now. And I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video and for being here with me and all your lovely comments always and your support. I read them all and I'm just so grateful for this community that we have. I love you guys. Send you guys lots of love and light and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye.